ile kitu nataka kuambia watu wa Mount Kenya mmebaki peke yenu mkituzi watoto wenu mkituzi mtoto wenu na aibu itarudi kwenu ni kauli za lalama kutoka kwa viongozi kutoka eneo la Mlima Kenya kwa wenzao kutoka eneo lilo hilo kwa kishabulia rais mustafu mheshimiwa uhuru kenyata kwa jia ambao haifai ndio tumekuja hapa kama viongozi wa Mount Kenya kwa sababu wale wote ambao wamechagua na wananchi karibu wote sasa ni kama amedugo hiyo shidano utata ukitokana na kile walichosema ni kukosewa heshima kwa rais mstaafu Uhuru Kenyatta na baadhi ya vigogo wa mrengo wa Kenya kwanza kuhusu maandamano ya mrengo wa Azimio 1 Kenya yaliyofanyika Jumatatu wiki hii Mr. Dinka and Mr. Kenyatta we have one message for you when in a hole stop digging we are only beginning to get to grips with the insane magnitude of embezzlement looting murder abuse of office and sheer impunity that took place during the five years of the hard shake regime if the buck stops at the door of mr odinga go for mr odinga if the buck stops at his sponsor's door go for them Aidha vigogo hao akiwemo kiongozi wa wengi bungeni Kimani Chungwa na gavana wa Embo Sisilimbarile walikashifu maandamano hayo na kutaka wahusika watiwe mbaroni. Aibu sana juzi Mheshimiwa Kimani Chungwa, Mheshimiwa Sisilimbarile na wengine. Wakiongea wakisema eti rais Uhuru Kenyatta sijui ashikwe na afungwe. Don't come lamenting to us how Uhuru has ruined the economy, what had happened before. We don't care about it. You start from where you met the government, take us forward, and in five years, and in time to come, we are measuring each and every single step you are making. Keep off Uhuru, because if you don't keep off Uhuru, you are also going to retire, and you are also going to come for you. Isongwa, ni jaburaibu sana. Na wakikuyu, huku mashinani, Hawajafurahi na hizo tabia zenu mkiwa na kina kashagwa. Shutma hizo zimepokelewa kwa majibu mazito na viongozi wa Mlima Kenya waliodai kuchoka na lalama za serikali na kuwataka kuwajibikia ahadi zao kwa Wakenya. Tukapoteza kiongozi mwenye alikuwa na huruma na watu wetu wa Kikuyu, kiongozi ule alisema one man, one vote, one shillings viongozi wetu wakakuja Mount Kenya na hawana adabu wakadanganya watu wetu at one man one vote shillings ilikuwa ya kusaidia uhuru na familia yake uhuru anasaidiwa na shilingi moja afanyie nini uhuru alikuwa anataka kuweka Mount Kenya mahali ambapo kama tuna uongozi ama hatuna ata make sure for generations to come Mount Kenya people we are comfortable Mount Kenya leaders led by honorable Kimani Shungwa you are the leader of majority in the national assembly your duty is to make sure the region is united so that we speak with one voice but what now we are seeing we are seeing disintegration of the region orchestrated and planned by the leaders themselves rais mstaafu uhuru kenyata amedumisha kimya katika safu ya siasa akizungumza mwisho hadharani baada ya mazishi ya aliyekuwa waziri wa elimu hayati professor george magoha kwani mungu tulikufanya nini utupee serikali ya watu wa waturumi anjenda pesa ilibiwa Asubuhi pesa ilivua na hii Kenya yenye tunaambiwa pesa ilivua maandamano ya siku moja deputy president anaivika anasema 2 hours 2 billion imeiviwa kwa hivyo kwa hii miezi sita pesa ile wao wameiba hata hatuwezi hesabu viongozi hao wamewataja wenzao kama waliofadhili kugawanyika kwa eneo la mlima Kenya wakiwaahidi mjeledi wampiga kura rais William Ruto asikubali hata kidogo kukaa meza ati wanaanza kufanya manendo ya handshake tena. Kwa sababu gani? Inji yote ambaye haina upinzani kamili. Mwananchi ndio huwa mashakani kwa sababu hakuna yeyote yule anayekosoa serikali. Aidha pia amewashauri wenzao kufadhili uiano kati ya serikali na upinzani wakisema uhuru alikuwa kiongozi wa kipekee ambaye hadhi yake sharti iheshimike.